Hey Taurus, this is going to be an x-ray for the 13th through the 19th. Okay guys, let's see what we got going on for Taurus and their ex. Taurus and their ex. This is a general read, so it's not going to resonate for everybody. If it doesn't fit, I'll try to make it okay. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, please check out the website, pinkarianjim.com. There's a selection there. If for some reason it's acting up, you are more than welcome to email me as well, okay? All right, guys, let's see what's going on for Taurus and their ex. One more shuffle. All right, look at these cards. Overall energy for this reading is the Wheel of Fortune. Very good card. You know, the only thing is, okay, so this is Jupiter. And I don't know if it was you guys that I told, because I don't say it in every reading. I don't even really discuss astrology. But Jupiter is also the husband. And um, Jupiter brings luck. It brings things really that, you know, you have to, you have to get it while the getting's good, basically, with Jupiter. Okay? So... So it could either be, and the will is karma. You reap what you sow. So whatever you have put out there, that's what you're going to get back, okay? All right. I don't know why I felt the need to shuffle again, but I did. And we are going with it, guys. All right, Taurus. Somebody walking away with the Eight of Cups, walking away from things that no longer serve them. Um, walking away from past issues, past hurts, you know, just feeling like, you know, that's in the past, I'm moving forward, okay? Your current position is the Ten of Pentacles, beautiful, beautiful. Either this is you um, working really hard, trying to build your coins up, or something new, solid, tangible that um, you see a future with. Okay. Other person is the Four of Cups. I, I get the impression that this person is the one that walked away with the Eight of Cups. And they're regretful about it. They thought the grass was greener on the other side. And now they're reminiscing and thinking about you. They're not, they're not thinking about any other cup. They're wanting to come back. We're going from the eight back to the four. They walked away, whoever this person is. What you want is a king of cups. To have a solid, stable relationship and be, you know, in control of your emotions. You also want someone else that is just as in control of their emotions. Like nobody flies off the deep end. Whatever the situation warrants, you feel like, you know, that's what we should put out there towards each other. They want the three of, three of coins here. I'm telling you, they want to come back. This is rebuilding a foundation. This is not establishing a new foundation for me. And being that it's under the four of cups, them wanting to come back, not taking any other offers, missing opportunities possibly with you because you may have tried with them before. 
now they want to rebuild. They want another go at it. Two of Wands for what you need. This is deciding the path and sticking to it. Deciding what you want now and sticking to it. Okay? Because remember, Jupiter is there. Decide what you want now. Stick to it so it can come to you. What they need is a seven of wands. And I feel like this is them not being so defensive. Not, you know, when they left, they, I'm sure, you know, they gave you some bullcrap reason why they left. Or maybe it wasn't bullcrap. I shouldn't say that. But I feel like now there's a need for them to rethink why they left and not continue to, you know, stand solid in that decision and to rethink what it is that, you know, it is that they really want and go towards that because you know this is the wheel is spinning for the both of you so like i said this person if they were the one that did wrong which it feels like they did um karma's coming around for them as well so they it's at a point where you know something needs to be made right something needs to be made right here because guess what? The Wheel of Fortune is the number 10. Guess what comes next? Justice. Balancing the scale of karma. It's near. Okay? So make sure you're putting out there, you know, good things so good things can come back to you. All right? Is someone else involved? I don't feel like someone else is involved, especially on your side, because I think you're at a point where, you know, you're done with this and you're just transforming. You're transforming yourself. I don't think this is transforming a relationship. I think you're just trying to focus more on yourself financially, um, emotionally. You're just trying to get yourself together here. You've decided to put this connection um, to bed for now, if not permanently, because tens are also endings with the Ten of Pentacles being there. And it's like, you know, you have given up on this connection to better yourself. Because I, I feel like you were a different person while you were with this person. So now you're going through this transformation process, okay? Is someone else involved for them? Eight of Wands. I feel like this person is doing a lot of, I don't feel like there's somebody solid in their life, but I feel like they are doing a lot of communicating with other people to mask how they really feel about this connection with you. Okay. This person is struggling. I feel that. I feel that strongly here. They're also trying to figure out how they can communicate with you here with the death card transformation. They're probably also at a distance from you, wanting to come towards you, wanting to come see you. Um, you know, Seven of Wands is also on their side as far as what they need, and that's to stop being defensive. But it's also blocking people, Seven of Wands. So I feel like they, they possibly, possibly blocked you or you them as well. And they're trying to figure out a way to communicate you in an effective way here with the death card. Transformation of how they communicate. This is online communication as well. So, I don't think there's anybody solid in their life. I feel like they're doing things at this point to try to, um, you know, just basically put a blanket over how they really feel and what they really need to do. Okay? Is this likely? Ten of Swords. It's another ending. Okay? And I feel like it's likely if somebody lets down their ego, basically. And I feel like it's more from the other side, for sure. So, it's likely if this person transformed. It's likely if they transform. If they raise their vibration and come towards you in a way that you need for them to come towards you 
Um, but I think this person's very stubborn over here on this side. Very stubborn. So we have Leo, Sagittarius, Capricorn energy, Moon and Cancer. Um, we have Scorpio, Scorpio strongly here, um, Aries and Virgo energy. Okay, guys. So that is um, your ex. I don't think I said, did I say Gemini? Because the Ten of Swords is Gemini. This is a Gemini person, strongly for some of you. Sun and Gemini. Sorry, guys. All right, guys. So that's your ex reading for the 13th or the 19th, and I'll speak with you soon. Bye.